Hi, welcome back again to learn Turkish professionally and in today's class we are going to cover adverbs of quantities in Turkish. Okay, now let's get it started. Adverbs of quantity in Turkish translates into Turkish as Türkçe'de ölçü zarfları and ölçü zarfları is also called as both miktar zarfları and azlık, çokluk zarfları in Turkish. Ölçü zarfları are words used to modify verbs, adjectives and even adverbs in terms of quantity, measure and degree. Now let's see words serving as ölçü zarfları, in other words adverbs of quantity in Turkish. Let's start with the first one, which is çok, translating as very, much, many, too or a lot of, depending on the noun's nature being countable or uncountable. Now let's see our sample sentence here. Bu kız çok güzel, translates as this girl is very beautiful. Here. Adjective güzel is modified by adverb çok. Remember adverbs of quantity were modifying verbs like here adjectives and even adverbs itself in terms of quantity, measure and degree. Now the second one is fazla which translates again this time too much too many, much more than desired or wanted in the meaning. Our sentence here is ben fazla uyudum, which means I slept too much. In other words, I, sl I overslept. Here, this time, adverb fazla modifies verb, not the adjective. So, our verb here is uyumak. So, uyumak is modified by adverbs of quantity fazla. These adverbs give sense kind of negativity in that I look like kind of complaining this. If I just said, for example, ben uyudum, the translation would be I slept. But here I modify the verb with adverb of quantity fazla. Ben fazla uyudum, giving the sense of too much. The third one is çok fazla. So in our simple sentence is bu adam çok fazla yaşlı. This man is much too old. So the meaning here is stronger compared to previous one here fazla. Again this time adverb çok modifies another verb which we covered before here fazla giving the sense of more than told, wanted, standard or desired with more emphasis on the adjective yaşlı. So, if we just use fazla, again, it gives emphasis to the predicate or the adjective used. But when we use another verb, çok, before fazla, then it puts more emphasis on the adjective or the predicate used. Now let's see more examples here with çok meaning very much, very much, many too. So again another sample sentence you can see here. Ben sınavıma çok çalıştım. I studied my exam very hard. So again another sample sentence as the same here. Ben sınavıma çok çalıştım. This time the translation you can take is 
I studied my exam too much. So, çok. Fazla, too much, too many, much more than desired or wanted. For example, if I say bu işçi çok, bu işçi fazla genç, then the translation would be like this employee is too young. Bu işçi fazla genç, this employee is too young. So here adverb fazla modifies adjective genç, giving the sense of this employee is younger than required. Now let's see the same sentence with the adverb of quantity used as çok. Bu işçi çok genç. This employee is very young. The difference between is that here adverb çok modifies adjective genç again. But here with çok the youngness is within required age. Adverb çok just describes adjective genç. So here yes the employee may be young very young but he or she still remains within the accepted limits but when i say bu işçi fazla genç then it is out of the limits required now, if we say bu işçi çok fazla genç, this employee is much too young. So, this statement is stronger compared to the previous one, çok genç. So, here adverb çok modifies another adverb fazla, giving the sense of more than taught, wanted, standard, or desired with more emphasis on the adjective genç. So, in other words, if I say bu işçi çok fazla genç, then what I want to say is this employee is very, very young. So, far, far out of the way of the limits. Now again çok, o çok su içti, he or she has drunk much water, here verb, as you have already learned, the verb içmek is modified by adverb çok. Now if I use fazla, meaning too much, too many, much more than desired or wanted, I would say, o fazla su içti, he or she has drunk water too much. Here, adverb fazla modifies verb içmek, giving the sense of drinking more than normal or desired. If I say, o çok fazla su içti, then the translation will be, he, she has drunk water much too much. Here, adverb çok modifies another verb fazla, giving the sense of more than taught, wanted, standard, or desired, with more emphasis on the verb içmek. Again, çok fazla su içti gives the sense of stronger meaning compared to this one. So again, here he or she might have drunk water, more water than normal or desired but it remain it still remains within the limits but if i say o çok fazla su içti then it goes out of the limits that is he drunk he has, he or she has drunk so so much that to the detriment of her or his health. Now let's see another adverbs of quantity as meaning not much, a few, little, a little or not many. So if I say sınıfta az öğrenci vardı, the translation would be there were a few students in the class 
Here noun öğrenci is modified by adverb as. So if I say this time çok az then the translation would be few, too few, too little, very little. For example sınıfta çok az öğrenci vardı which translates as which translates as there were few or very few students in the class here adverb few is modified by another verb çok giving the stronger sense compared to previous one which was sınıfta az öğrenci vardı here that means there are just one or two students not some so very few for example bardakta az su var there is a little water in the glass bardakta çok az su var translate says there is very little or there is little water in the glass that means there is almost no water in the class in the glass now let's see another adverbs of quantity which is pek or oldukça which translates as very or quite or very much for example çocuk pek or oldukça yakışıklı giving the sense of the boy is quite handsome çocuk pek or oldukça yakışıklıymış the boy is quite handsome as a statement of surprise or admiration. Now another one is son derece or fazlasıyla meaning extremely or excessively. Onun işi fazlasıyla son derece sıkıcı. His job is extremely boring. Here adjective sıkıcı is modified by adverbs of quantity fazlasıyla or son derece. Aşağı yukarı hemen hemen yaklaşık üç aşağı beş yukarı these are all interchangeable giving the sense of more or less. Ben projemi aşağı yukarı hemen hemen bitirdim. I have more or less finished my project. Okay guys, I hope you have enjoyed the lesson and you have learned something about adverbs of quantity in Turkish. Thank you again for being with me and listening the lesson during the time. I would be very happy if you click on like and subscribe to the channel. Çok teşekkür ederim. Görüşmek üzere. Hoşçakalın.